In this video, we'll be seeing how to implement GET and POST requests using OKHTTP. First of all, you can come to this URL. I'll give the link on the description and scroll down. And you can see the Gradle dependency for OKHTTP. You can copy this. And then here, you can see that I have created a new empty project. Go to Gradle scripts, build Gradle, and we have to add the dependency here. Now you can click sync now. After synchronizing the project, you can close the build gradle and go to activity main XML file. Go to layout and you can see the file. Go to the split mode and you can change the parent layout to linear layout. Let's add an orientation vertical. You can also give a gravity center. Now you can add two buttons and a text view. So let's remove these from the text view. And we can give an ID for the text view. You can also give a size for the text view. Okay, now that's all. Now we can add two buttons. You also have to give an ID. So I'm giving the ID btn get. So on clicking this button, we'll be making a get request. Now let's copy this and create another button. Let's change the ID of the button to btn post and also change the text. Okay, now that's all with the UI part. Now you can go to the main activity Java file. Here we can create an object for OKHTTP OK client. And we also need two variables for storing the get and the post URLs. Now you can see that I have created two strings, get URL and post URL. You can see I have also given the URL. So this is a get request and I will show you how the file looks. And this is the URL for post request. And you can see here get.php and post.php. So inside this, we are simply echoing the variable that is $get. And inside the post, we are simply echoing the dollar post that's all and i have hosted these files and taken the url we also need a text view so create a variable we have to initialize the objects so first of all we can do the client equal to new ok http and we can initialize the objects for the button and the text view Now we have initialized the text view. Now we have to create the objects for the button and we have to initialize them. Okay, you can see that we have created the objects for two buttons and we have initialized the objects. So these are the IDs that we used on the activity main.xml file you can see here okay now we can set an on click listener for both the buttons then we have to create functions for making the get and the post request first of all we can do the get request so go outside the on create function and create a function public void get now inside this we'll be making the get request so for that create the request initialize the object new request dot builder then we can pass the url so inside this we'll be passing the url 
so this is a get request so we'll be passing the get url so get url dot build now we can make the call using the ok http client so client dot new call inside that we have to pass the request that we just created dot nq inside this we have to pass the callback so new callback okay let's scroll down you can see two functions on failure and on response and inside the on response we are getting the response okay so let's see how to access them so inside the on failure we can do error dot print stack trees so you can debug the errors properly and inside the on response function we can show the response string inside the text view so for that we have to create a thread new runnable and inside the run function we'll be updating the text view so we are already having a text view initialized on the top so text view dot set text and here we can pass the response so response dot body dot string now you can see this in red so simply click here and type alt enter now you can see it is asking you to warp it inside try catch so simply warp it inside try catch that's all okay now that's done now you can see our get request is almost done and we can make the call to the get request on the button on click listener for the get button okay so call the get function here that's it now we can make another function for the post okay let's minimize this function okay now here we can make the post request okay let's minimize the on click listener for the button also okay okay so public void post and inside this we'll be passing the request body since we are passing the post variables from the app so we have to create an object for request body let's initialize them with new form body dot builder and we have to add the data now dot you don't have to give a semicolon here simply hit enter and use the dot operator and call the function add okay now we have to pass the key and the value so the first one will be key and the second one will be the value okay so let's pass the key so for demo we can pass a key like key name okay something like this so if you are passing something like username or password something like that you can use the key name as username okay hope you understand that now here we will be passing the value and the value let's keep it to demo value okay you can pass as much as you want we are only passing one if you want to add more you can simply add more like this okay you can keep on adding okay so we will be only passing one and dot build now you can give the semicolon okay and after that we have to create the request so just like we did earlier create the object initialize the object and call the builder okay dot builder dot now we have to pass the url so this one is post url and we have to pass the data that we just added to the request body so for that we have to use post and pass the request body then dot we can call the build that's all okay now we can give the semicolon now we have to make the new call using the ok http client 
So for that, you can simply copy that from here, go to the get function and you can copy this much. Okay. Okay. This much from here to here. Okay. Copy it and we can paste it after this. Okay. Now everything is correct, I guess. Okay. And we are getting the response here and we are setting it to the UI. Okay. Now we have to call this function. So scroll to the top and inside the button post, we have to call this function. Okay. Now we have to add the permission to access internet. So go to the manifest and here we have to add the permission. Uses permission internet. Close the tab. All tender collapse empty tag okay that's all okay now everything is almost complete we can try running the app and check you can see that the app has opened so let's try clicking on the get request button you can see the data has loaded to the text view now we can try clicking on the post request button see now the post request has made and the data is also present here we can try changing the data if you want to understand it much better so here this is our post function let's change the data here to something like some other value let's try running this now we are sending the value code cc with the key name that is key underscore name. Okay. Let's try clicking on the post request. And you can see the data has changed. So if you're wondering what this key name is, you can go to the code, the PHP code. And here inside the post.php file, you can see that we are receiving a post variable with the key name that is key underscore name. Okay. So here you can pass something like username, name, email anything like that okay so this is simply a demo so i am using this okay hope you understand so this is a basic of php so you have to understand the basics of php okay hope you understand that now that's all hope you understand how to implement get and post request using okhttp if you have any doubts feel free to leave a comment i will respond to them and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos